Investors will be bracing for more volatility today after a tidal wave of selling and buying sent the Dow on a 200-point swing. For a brief time, the Dow dipped below 12,000 for the first time this year before clawing its way back. Growing problems in the mortgage market triggered the initial sell-off. General Motors and H&R Block joined the growing chorus of companies warning about losses from subprime loans gone bad. In the end, the Dow finished a rocky day up 57 points. The Nasdaq Composite rose 21. In Inflation will take center stage on Wall Street today with a report on wholesale prices. A benign report will renew hopes for an interest rate cut when the Federal Reserve meets next week. No jail time for Hewlett Packard's former chairwoman. The California Attorney General's office has agreed to let Patricia Dunn and three others plead guilty to misdemeanor charges for their role in the HP corporate spying case. HP illegally obtained private phone records of company directors, employees and journalists as part of a probe into corporate leaks. The fallout led to the departure of several HP executives, including Dunn. And another record for the Harry Potter series. The newest offering from J.K. Rowling will have a record-breaking 12 million copies printed in the first run. According to publisher Scholastic, the last Potter book sold nearly 7 million copies in the first 24 hours. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows hits shelves July 21st. That's your Money Watch. Click on CBSNews.com for the latest business headlines. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus.